Hey guys, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am sharing you the techniques, preparation, use and calculation for fumigation. There are a lot of things we will discuss in this video about fumigation and its preparation for pharmaceutical, clinic, hospital, food industries, medical device industries and of course for microbiology lab. To keep the control area from being contaminated, two processes namely fumigation and fogging we used. We can use formaldehyde and potassium permanganate by spraying method in liquid form. Fogging uses a mixture of uh, hydrogen peroxide and silver ions solution to control the contamination. First let me know you about formaldehyde fumigation is now banned internationally. Fumigation involves formaldehyde solution which is carcinogenic or simply known as cancer causing solution. The user has the risk of setting uh, infected with uh, cancer and that is one of the main reasons as to why fumigation by formaldehyde is banned. But there are so many other choices we have like ethyl alcohol, polyethylene glycol, glutaraldehyde and phenoxyethanol are alternatives to formaldehyde. Also, these may pose other worker health and safety concerns. Types of chemicals used in fumigation may be magnesium phosphide, methyl bromide, sulfuryl fluoride, calcium cyanide, and of course hydrogen peroxide. The most widely used spore sites are chlorine as in hypochlorite solutions or bleach. We can use these chemicals if we have done a validation on our respective areas. And also we can use these chemicals as per validated calculations. So here is an example of calculations of area for fumigation. Now before starting the preparation of fumigant, I would like to share you the SOP or standard operating procedure of fumigant and its preparation. We have that is made by one of our official member and he shared this SOP from his ISO document file of his pharma industry. Let's check it out instantly. If you want to copy this SOP, you can change it as per your approved format of the standard operating procedure. Here are objective, scope, responsibility and procedure. Let me read you the procedure from this SOP. So first we are calculating the fumigant solution. The percentage you can see here is 6% and it's a validated. That means that percentage is suitable for the required or for the respective area where fumigation is needed as per frequency. So here we calculate the hydrogen peroxide percentage and then we prepare it and record the preparation of fuming and solution in the respective mixture. Here you can see the important general instructions for fumigation. We use a spray machine for fumigation by hydrogen peroxide. 4.3 you can find out the order to uh, do fumigation in microbiology lab and also we should record the fumigation done in record sheet. 4.4 is very important that is defumigation because we must remove the residues of H2O2. So for doing that we should start the HVAC system before starting work. Frequency must be suggested and recommended as per need or need of respective area. Here is an effectiveness test in case of fumigant changes. We use Bessler surplus for doing that or to check the effectiveness of fumigant and also for the validation purpose. So here is a reference and also some abbreviation and some distribution that is basically the requirement of the company and ISO as well. So as per this SOP, let's do our work. There are a lot of commercial fumigants available, those also has effective actions against microbes. So fogging with hydrogen peroxide is a suitable alternative for fumigation with formalin, formaldehyde and potassium permanganate by generating a dry vapor like aerosol of 12% H2O2 with 0.02% silver nitrate gives an effective disinfection. H2O2 has the advantage of being both safe and effective. 
I will tell you the silver nitrate action with the H2O2 in my next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon so you may get notifications and updates. Before preparation of fumigant and disinfectants and also before performing fumigation, we must wear personal protective equipment like masks, gloves, goggles, etc. Also wear lab coats or any uniform available. Arrange distilled water as per the requirement. Spray guns if fogger machine is not available. Beaker for measurement. Flask for measurement also. And of course pharma grade hydrogen peroxide. You can use any brand. I use this brand for uh, the fumigation and fumigant preparation. So we prepared this fumigant by the calculation. Let me show you the calculation of percentage for the fumigant solution. You can check out the isopropyl alcohol preparation in description box. So we have 30% H2O2 solution in our lab and we are preparing 6% H2O2. We use formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2. So M1 is 30% and V1 is unknown. M2 is 6% and V2 is the requirement of solution. That is for suppose 2500 ml. So now we do our calculation 30 divided by 6 and multiply by 2500 ml so by doing calculation we will find it out the the volume for hydrogen peroxide that we use of 30 percent and that would be v1 after doing calculation we found that 500 ml of 30 percent h2o2 will be used to make 2500 ml of 6 percent hydrogen peroxide solution we are not using silver ions for this method but you can use it so first we put 500 ml in flask and then volume makeup till 2500 ml mark with distilled water so we will uh, use 3 liter flask or beaker for making this solution. In my next video, I will share you the hydrogen peroxide link and bonding with the stabilizer silver nitrate. Yes, silver nitrate is used as a stabilizer because uh, helps to maintain the stability of the fumigation. Thanks for watching this video and stay connected. Have a nice day. Goodbye.